Welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. Today's story is going to be Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow White and her prince had recently been married and they were living happily at the castle. The seven dwarfs missed Snow White. But she made sure to visit them often. One spring day, Snow White went to Dwarf's cottage. The dwarfs were not expecting her, but the princess had a very special surprise planned for them. Snow White knew the dwarfs worked hard. That day she wanted to make sure that when they got home, they didn't have to do any more work. No sweeping, no dusting, no cooking. Snow White waited until the dwarfs had left. Then she and her animal friends hurried into the cottage. The princess looked around. By the time the dwarfs get home tonight, our surprise will be ready. So they set to work. Snow White sang a cheerful song as she swept the cottage floor. The birds tripped while they picked crumbs. The squirrels used their fluffy tails to dust and chipmunks and deer washed and dried the breakfast dishes. With so many helpers, Snow White had the downstairs gleaming in no time. Next, they went upstairs and the princess began to make the beds. Pull the covers up tight, she told the bunnies. Then fold down the top. There it's perfect. The bunnies hopped off to start on the other beds. Before long, every inch of dwarf's cottage was neat and tidy. Snow White and the animals headed outside to gather fresh berries, nuts and apples to use in the dwarf's supper. They'll, they'll be very hungry after their long day, said the princess. Luckily, the blueberries bushes had lots of ripe fruits and the basket was quickly filled. I know what we'll make for dessert, Snow White told the rabbits. Blueberry pie! Next, the princess and her friends strolled into a meadow to find wildflowers. Lovely, said Snow White. As she sniffed a balsam, these will be perfect for the table. Back inside the cottage, Snow White and her friends got to work fixing supper. There was soup to be simmered, bread to be made and pie to be baked. Before she knew it, the late afternoon sun was casting long shadows across the window pans. Tweet, tweet, creep, creep, a bluebird singing outside the window. That was the signal to tell Snow White that the dwarfs were almost home. Snow White hurried outside hid, and hid. She couldn't wait to see 
the dwarfs thought of their surprise. She peeked in through the window. When they got inside, the dwarfs stopped and stretched, stared. They could not believe their eyes. The floors were swept, the room was tidy, and there was seven there was even a freshly baked pie cooling on a window sill. What is that delicious smell? Doc wondered. Look, cried Crumpy. He pointed to the table, which had been set. Then he went to the pot of soup. Someone's been in our house. The dwarves were confused. They tried to guess which dwarf had done all of this. Doc noticed that Happy's smile was especially big. Was he keeping a secret? Dobby pointed out the sneezy seemed super sneezy. Maybe because he had dusted and swept the cottage. Snow White giggled as she listened outside the window. They'll, they'll never guess that we did it, she whispered to her animal friends. When the dwarves started to eat their pie, Snow White quietly headed home. Inside the cottage, Bashful had no more guess. Whoever was behind the surprise would have to be one tired dwarf. And who seemed the sleepiest? Why sleepy? Of course. The truth was sleepy wasn't the only one. After a long birthday, their tummies pleasantly full. All seven dwarfs were ready for bed. When they climbed the stairs, the dwarves found one last treat. Seven neatly, neatly made, a, made beds and seven perfectly fluffed pillows. As they drifted off to sleep, the dwarves decided to tell their good friend Snow White about this wonderful surprise they, the very next time they saw her. That's the end of Snow White and the Seven Dwarf Story. We will meet you guys in the next storytelling.